Good afternoon to all of you. Our topic for today is all about loan amortization. This topic was specifically discussed the time period, interest per period, and monthly installments. Before we discuss how to solve the amortization of loan, let us first discuss the concept of amortized loan or loan amortization. What is this amortized loan? It is a type of loan with scheduled periodic payments that are applied to both loan's principal amount and the interest accrued. So we have two factors here, the principal amount which is actually the original amount borrowed and the interest, the additional um, payments with regards to borrowing of loan or borrowing of funds. Ayan. And an amortized loan payment first pays of the relevant interest expense for the period. Then after which, the remainder of the payment is put toward reducing the principal amount. So there are common amortized loans that include loan, home loans, auto loans, and personal loans from a bank for small projects or debt consolidation. In other words, Amortization happens when a person pays off a debt over time with regular equal monthly payments. So with each payment, uh, generally monthly, a portion of the money goes towards the interest and reducing the loan balance. So you heard it right. So that's the concept of loan amortization. Let us next discuss how an amortized loan works. Now, for us to know the concept of uh, solving amortization, the interest on an amortized loan is calculated based on the most recent ending balance of the loan. So, we have a running balance here. So, kung ano yung uh, pinaka most recent ending balance ng loan, yan yung magiging basis natin in computing your interest. So, the interest amount owed decreases as the payments are made. So therefore, at the beginning, mataas talaga yung babayaran natin yung interest kasi mataas din yung um, ending balance natin. So, as the time goes by, as the series of payments are made, the interest will also decrease because the payments were also made by the uh, borrower. So, this is because any payment in excess of the interest amount reduces the principal, which in turn reduces the balance on the interest calculated. So, as the interest portion of the amortized loan decreases, the principal portion of the payment increases. Therefore, interest in principal have an increased relationship within the payments over the life of the amortized loan. So, in other words, at the beginning of the loan, the interest costs are high. Okay? For long-term loans, the majority of each monthly payment is an interest expense. Mataas laging interest expense. And only a small amount is deducted from the loan or from the principal. As the time goes on, more payment goes towards the principal and less on the interest. Ayan. So, an amortized loan is the result of a series of calculation. So, first, the current balance of the loan is multiplied by the interest rate attributable to the current period to find the interest due for the period. So, the interest rate will be uh, will depend kung ano yung pinaka current rate na ino-offer ng bank or, or any uh, banking institution or financing institution. Ayan, so annual interest rates may be divided by 12 to find a monthly rate. So subtracting the interest due for the period from the total monthly payment results in the dollar amount or peso amount of principal paid in the period. So therefore, amortized loans are decided so that after a certain amount of time, the last loan payment will completely pay off the balance. So, aside from that, it also refers to the computation of equal periodic loan payments. So, these payments provide the lender with specified interest return and repayment of loan principal over a specified period. Continue. The amount of principal paid in the period is applied to the outstanding balance of the loan. So, kung ano man yung principal payments niyon, ayan, this will be deducted to the outstanding balance of the loan, thereby decreasing the carrying amount or the balance of the loan. 
Therefore, the current balance of the loan minus the amount of the principal paid in the period results in the new outstanding balance of the loan. This new outstanding balance is used to calculate the interest for the next period. Kaya, kaya nasabi natin na paliit ng paliit yung interest as payments are made by the borrower kasi nga the balance will also decrease and the balance will be the basis in the computation of the interest per period. So there you have it. So therefore, a loan amortization process involves finding out the future payments, right? So over the term of the loan, which will pay the loan plus the interest. Therefore, lenders use the loan amortization schedule to determine these payment amounts and the allocation of each payment to interest and principal. For the computation of loan amortization, we have this following formula. So, in amortization schedule, the payments would be the same amount, but there would be a different principal, interest, and balance for each payment. So, amortization payments can be computed using this formula. So, I stands for the interest payment per period. So, we are going to get that later times P, which is the principal, times 1 plus I raised to N. The I is your interest rate payment per period. And N is your total number of payments. So, depende po kung ilang years at kung ano yung term. Is it monthly, quarterly, or semi-annual? Okay? So, over 1 plus I raised to N minus 1. So, that's how you compute for the monthly payment per period. We have this as an example. Star Studios wants to buy a new audio interfaces because their business is expanding. One audio interface is 10,000 and they aim to buy five audio interfaces. Their purchasing department is found, uh, found a supplier who will sell them the interfaces at this price provided that they will pay it monthly within five years at 7% interest. Now, we have to compute the following. The time period. The time period talks about more on how many periods are we going to pay the loan. Interest per period talks about at what rate or percentage are we going to buy in every period of paying the loan. And monthly payment, this will be our payments every month since the term is monthly, okay? So, we have here the principal amount, 10,000, but we have five audio interfaces. So, the principal is 10, 000, uh, 500,000 pesos or 50,000 pesos. And the interest rate, uh, interest rate is five, uh, 7% and the period is 5 years that is payable every month. Now, let us solve the following items. For the time period, we have to multiply 5 years into the number of months per year. So, 12 months in 1 year times 5 years is equal to 60 payments. Therefore, Star Studios will pay 60 series of payments to pay the loan. Aside from that, we have the interest per period. The interest is 7%. So, 7% is an annual rate, okay? But we have to allocate it every month. So, we are going to identify how much interest is applicable to every month of payment. So, 0.7 or 7% divided by 12 months is equal to 0 0.0058. Actually, that is rounded up. So, the answer will be, will be different if ever... Uh, your computation is rounded up for the whole uh, exact um, solution of that answer. Now, for us to solve the monthly payment, we need to um, have this formula as a guide or basis. Now, for you to have a monthly payment, so need your interest per period, so that's 0 0.0058 times the principal, times the um, solution of 1 plus 0 0.0058 raised to 60, which is the number of payments, divided by 1 plus 
0.0058 raised to 60 minus 1. So the answer here is 410.30 divided by 0 0.4148. 0 0.4148 is rounded up, okay? And the answer here is 990 pesos. Again, it will differ on the amount or the the result if it is rounded up or not. Okay, so that's how you solve your loan amortization, specifically the time, payments, the interest rate per period, and the monthly payment.